is equal to IR equivalent. IR equivalent. So, substituting the values V1, V2, V3 and V in the equation 1. What is their equation 1? This is equation 1. V is equal to what is their IR equivalent is equal to V1 is equal to IR1. V2 is equal to IR2. V3 is equal to IR3. IR1, IR2, IR3. Equation no substitution. V1, IR1, V2, IR2, V3, IR3 substitute. V is equal to IR equivalent. So therefore, IR equivalent is equal to I common this system. I R1 plus R2 plus R3 will get. Common this is the I. So I I cancel button. Therefore, R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Sum of the resistance is equal to the combination of all the resistors. From the above equation, from that equation, we can conclude that the sum of individual resistance, sum of individual resistance is equivalent to their equivalent resistance. Is equal to their equivalent resistance. When the resistors are connected in series. Series la connection of individual resistance and it ni R chest of China twenty the R equivalent and I want to the then equal equivalent equivalent resistance key equal count. So what happens when one of the resistors in series break down? Series connection like in Apudu, one of the series down break down and up to M I Tundi. Okay, Manavatram break and up to M I Tundi. So when one of the resistors in series breaks down, the circuit becomes open and flow of the current cannot take place in the circuit. Okay, breakdown and the color circuit akaninching a breakdown open circuit hypothesis. After that, the ninching any connections on the cane, I mean, the current and the flow ka the avail. So that's why it is not used. This is the reason why household circuits are not connected in the series connection. Series connection in the middle and the Q chair and the other carnum. And the coach take a dinner break with the matam and name put out. So that is the reason to be. So, household wiring has been done in a parallel circuit. Why you will give the parallel circuit? Like this? So, parallel connection of resistors. So, same bulbs we can use the previous whatever we used. So, measure the potential difference and connect the bulbs as shown in the figure also. So, see that figure and connect it like that circuit also. And here also measure the potential difference across each bulb. So, the bulb is not going to be a different measurement using voltmeter or multimeter. Multimeter is not voltmeter to be a potential difference. That readings you have tried in our notebook and what you, did you observe in it? So, what you can observe there? The potential difference at the ends of each bulb is the same. If you observe it, the potential difference in each bulb is the same. These bulbs are said to be in parallel connection. So, if you have a problem, but bulbs and it will be a connection on the parallel connection. So measure the electric currents flowing through each bulb using ammeters. Not that value is also. So electric current and good measurement change up to not a project of bulb the current at one day. So the bulb the current at one day electric current measurement change up to. So let the current flowing through the bulb let I1, I2 and I3. I1, I2, I3 period. Through the resistors of resistors M and R1, R2, R3 and go now. Resistors R1, R2, R3. So how much current is drawn from the battery? It is equal to the individual current drawn by the resistors. Is equal to the. And the current drawn in the individual current drawn is equal to the. So measure the current drawn from the battery using the ammeter. We will notice that the current drawn from the battery is equal to the. Sum of the individual current run by the bulbs. Battery the current the current the measurement chain is to the current. The current drawn from the battery is equal to battery the current the current release and equal to sum of individual current drawn by the bulbs. Bulbs the current individual bulbs the current the current drawn and equal to Ninto. And therefore, hence I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus. So, equation 1 and only. Equivalent resistance of parallel connection to stay. A diagram of the chess schematic diagram. Worms law, according to Worms law, current through current is equal to through 
थ्रू आर वन इज I1 वन इज ईक्वल टू थ्रू आर वन करे अंटे ई वन इज ईक्वल टू करे वी बै आर वन वस्तु मन की वंशु अकॉर्ंग टू वंशु अकॉर्ंग टू वंशु अकॉर्ंग टू वंशु ई वन इज ईक्वल टू वी बै आर वन सें थ्रू आर टू इज ई टू इज ईक्वल टू वी बै आर टू वे सें आर थ्री इज थ्रू आर थ्री इज ई थ्री इज ईक्वल टू v by r three is done. So r equivalent resistance already we know that r equivalent resistance is equal to v by r. I is equal to v by r equivalent resistance. Substitute these values in equation one. Na. This is equation one is there. I is equal to equation one already there. I one plus I two plus I three. I is equal to v by r equivalent. Do. I one is equal to V by R one, V by R two, V by R three. I three and I two and V by R two. So V by R equivalent is equal to common the end. V common is say one by R one plus one by R two plus one by R three. So V V cancel but only therefore one by R equivalent is equal to one by R one plus One by R two plus one by R three. This is a parallel connection. Parallel connection resistance. Series connection, parallel connection. So three resistors in the flow. The equivalent resistance of parallel combination is less than that the resistance of each bulb of the resistors. So we can use this result to explain the why the resistance of a metal wire is inversely proportional to its area of cross section also. Do the methods discussed in the previous section of replacing series and parallel combination of resistors by their equivalent resistance are very useful for simplifying the many combinations of resistors, and they are not sufficient for the analysis of many simple circuits, particularly those containing more than one battery. Okay, these are the series connection and the parallel connection. 